Hello, my name is Patrick Holland and I'm a Lieutenant for the Ridgefield Fire Department. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about community risk reduction. <clears throat> at the Fire Department, we look at a different points of data that we collect. And we also use the data about the town to see where we can be most effective in helping the community. Uh, the process of this is called risk reduction. So for instance, if we looked at our data and found that we were going to a lot of emergency medical calls that involved falls with elderly, knowing that um, this is a potentially life-changing event for an elderly person if they break a hip or if they um, have to have an extended time in the hospital because of a fall, we can focus our efforts around fall reduction, uh, around uh, hardening up their house by putting a, a uh, aids to assist them in getting up and down. We can remove trip hazards. All this can be done through our community paramedicine with the help of the Richfield Visiting Nurse Association. There is a potential to use a lot of data with this. Um, as I explained in the last part, we will look at the types of calls we do, both fire and EMS. Another section of data we will do is we will look at the population. Um, within the population, we'll, we will break that down to gender, male and female, and then into age groups. So we can, we can get a broad spectrum of how the town is set up. Uh, as the fire part, at the fire department, another thing we look at is housing units. Um, whether we have a lot of apartment houses, which would be a higher density, which means that there's a potential more for life loss, or whether we have a lot of single family homes where we have to worry about people being in there and not being alerted to a fire or an EMS call quick enough because there's not a lot of people around and issues like that. The risk I'm going to be talking about today is smoke detectors, and how they have an effect on early notification of the fire department. In here, in, here in Connecticut, the legislator put into law that every every home unit, whether it's an apartment or house condominium, uh, will have a smoke detector inside of it. Um, this is something that is very near and dear to my heart, being a fire marshal also. Um, but the fact of the matter is, early notification of occupants during a fire saves lives. When you have a fire, it exponentially increases as time goes on it will actually double in size every minute. And this is shown at, in study after study. This is why we at the Ridgefield Fire Department feel that having smoke detectors in the home, in the, quite, in the proper placement, and in operation is something that we need to get behind. Over the past couple of years, we actually have seen an increase in fires, and we want to make sure that the residents of Ridgefield are safe and accounted for during a fire situation. The risk that not having fire, smoke detectors in a home causes costs the Ridgefield Fire Department is immeasurable. A single loss of life that can be saved 
due to the fact of a smoke a working smoke detector is, I can't put a price on that but what I can put a price on is the amount of calls that we do go to that we are there maybe in an EMS capacity maybe uh, doing something else but one of the members hears the smoke detector chirping in the background or they happen to be looking up and they see the smoke detector hanging there with the battery out of it. These are issues that we can directly attack because we see them. And these are things that we are going for. At the fire department, we routinely hand out smoke detectors. We will actually go to your house and put them in. In the middle of the night, we carry batteries because we feel that strongly that when we go to a house that has a detector issue, which most likely is a, a chirping battery in the middle of the night, that we can either replace the battery or replace the whole detector to make sure that that person or family is safe. At the Ridgefield Fire Department, we have just started using the ESO software system for the fire department uh, as a way of uh, doing our fire reporting and EMS reporting. Um, using their uh, software, we're able to put in a specialized uh, value that the officers or uh, paramedics will have to track. And one of those is that, did you see a functioning smoke detector? Did you see a detector in state of disrepair? Now, I realize on ambulance calls, it might not be the easiest thing to do, but they can ask the person, do you have a smoke detector in the house? Do you have a working smoke detector in the house? Now, obviously, on a case of a very severe ALS call, um, we're not going to do that, and we'll, we'll check back later, but on most of the calls, I would say 90% of the calls, we will be able to gather this data and then bring that to the fire marshal's office who can then affect the change of getting them detectors or changing out the batteries or doing some sort of education to uh, make sure that people realize the need for smoke detectors. Because the uh, community risk reduction uh, model is uh, brand new to the town of Richfield, we thought that we would start small with something that we really do a lot of anyways but we're backing it up with documentation and we're also modifying it a little bit. What we're doing is that now Everetti supplies us with 10 year batteries. Now we know that, at, at, that the smoke alarm should be changed every 10 years and we have a good, good deal of smoke alarms on hand. So what we're doing is when we do place those in service, we are taking one of the new 10 year batteries, placing with a brand new smoke detector and we're letting them know that they are now safe up to 10 years. Uh, it is advised that we write on Sharpie the data that it is installed and therefore when we go next time we can check to see that this is going on. Um, we know that we're the only ones that have the 10 year battery so we can see whether or not um, batteries are being taken out and used in other devices. Um, but we will definitely be keeping a log of everything that we do so we can graph and chart how well this is happening. Also, the fire marshal's office uh, will be investig investigating any of the smoke calls, like odor of smoke, um, smoke from cooking, anything that will activate an alarm and they will be um, following up with some with several routine questions to say did the alarm activate, uh, did the whole system activate, um, uh, well, what was your actions uh, to alleviate the smoke uh, just so we can we can figure out what's best for the town and how to continue to proceed to make the town safe. Once again, this is Patrick Holland from the Ridgefield Fire Department. Thank you for your time.